for the jury? Yes. Oh my God, I can't believe this is actually happening. All right. Just to, for everybody in the gallery, reminder this, that this is a court of law. Uh, and uh, regardless of the verdict, I will not tolerate any outbursts whatsoever. Okay? Thank you. All right, so we'll be in recess till we hear back from them. Don't go too far, okay? Right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. What? What? Well, just as we were telling you, this could wrap up in just about 10 minutes by 310, 3.15. Uh, not so fast. There was a little sidebar going on with the attorneys in the front. Apparently, the jurors didn't fill out the damages section. The judge now sending them back to complete uh, this special verdict form, literally like a, a worksheet that they need to fill out. They didn't put in the damages. Linda, what do you make of that? Well, Stacey, I mean, somebody won this case. That somebody won yeah, their defamation claims, right? Now, uh, the Wait. fact that they didn't fill out the compensatory damages award, I think, may bode well for Johnny Depp. The judge said it has to be at least a dollar. Usually, you see, if, if somebody wins, you have to fill out an award. Either that, or somehow they both won, which I don't think is likely. But he was the oh, one that didn't know. ask for damages, if you recall. He said, I'm not seeking damages. She asked for, I think right. it was 350,000 damages. So it sounds like someone won. It could be Johnny Depp because the jury may have telegraphed it by not filling out an award for damages. But uh, under the law, right. at least has to be a dollar. Right. So maybe they missed that instruction and just figured, oh, we're not awarding damages, so we're going to leave it blank. What? That's, what? that's right. That's, nah. what it could, that's what it could sound like. Now, in the very unlikely event that they just forgot to do that section and they actually did intend for some kind of damages, we had a question from viewers earlier, which is, what happens if there's a verdict, say, against, against Amber Heard and there's a judgment awarded for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard doesn't have that money, whether it's $50 million, whether it's $20 million, Jail. whether it's $10 million. Jail. What happens if she doesn't have that money, Linda? Well, you know, we have that in many civil cases where the person that gets the verdict, they don't have, uh, the defendant doesn't have the mon money. Right? Uh, you can pursue her. It goes. It could be a claim that follows her around for the rest of her life. Uh, with it, it gets docketed. It gets logged. Uh, she could discharge it in bankruptcy, assuming it's against her. We're making a lot of assumptions. Maybe it's against him, and it's a dollar. Who knows? Uh, so, uh, but the likelihood is is that uh, with a dollar verdict, uh, the jury may just want to be sending a message uh, who, for whoever wins. And again, we're assuming it's it's uh, Johnny Depp, but it also could be Amber Heard because. She she was seeking damages. Maybe they found for her, but d not giving her damages. We just don't know. Oh my God! Dude, it this is a fucking Claude Monet impressionism. Holy shit! It keeps getting worse. All right. Spit it out. All right, Mr. Four Person. No, this is no, the verdict no, of the no. jury. <laughs> All right, is it unanimous? Thank you, sir. Jamie. It's unanimous. Wait a minute. He, I think he actually won. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Mr. Depp's claim against Ms. Heard. One, as to the statement appearing in the online op-ed entitled Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Oh! Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Heard? Answer, yes. <laughs> the sta question, the statement was about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. 
Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Oh. Question, the, de the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory impl implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Holy! Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Ah! With malice too, that's crazy. Two, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition. Quote, then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath for women who speak out, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Oh my. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Heard? Answer, yes. Holy. Question, the statement was about Home Mr. Runner. Depp. Answer, yes. Yes, she did me for that. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. Oh my God. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Jesus. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended by Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of the statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Holy, that's, that's hardcore. Three, as to the statement appearing in the op-ed entitled, A Transformative Moment for Women in the Washington Post print edition and the online op-ed, Amber Heard, I spoke up against sexual violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. In the Washington Post online edition, quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse, end quote. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false? Answer, yes. Yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp? Answer, yes. This is crazy. Question, the defamatory implication was designed and intended this is by massive. Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, due to circumstances surrounding the publication of this statement, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp? Answer, Mr. yes. De Mr. Depp. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Hurd acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages oh, oh. in the amount of $10 million. Okay. As against Amber <laughs> Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. In civil case number CL 2019-2911, Ms. Heard's claim against Mr. Depp one, 15 mil. as to this statement, appearing in the April 8, 2020, online edition of the Daily Mail. No way she wins that. Quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield. She lost depending that. Depending on their needs. On her last they day. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax 
facts as the sword, inflict inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Two, as to this statement appearing in the April 27th, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt did not do the trick. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911, end quote. Do you find that Ms. Hurd has nope. proven all the elements of defamation? Yep. Answer, yes. Yep. Okay. Has Ms. Hurd proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement? Answer, yes. Question, the statement was about Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was seen by someone other than Ms. Hurd. Answer, yes. Question, the statement was false. Answer, yes. What? Do you find that Ms. Hurd has proven by clear and convincing evidence that the statement by Mr. Waldman was made with actual malice? Answer, yes. Three, as to this statement appearing in the April 27, 2020 online edition of the Daily Mail, quote, We've reached the beginning of the end of Miss Hurd's abuse hoax against Johnny Depp. End quote. Hold up. Do you find that Miss Hurd has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, no. Okay. Okay. As against John C. Depp II, Save we, the, the jury, Save award the. compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of zero dollars. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does either side wish to have the jury polled? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Jamie? Members of the jury, if this is your verdict, please answer yes. If this is not your verdict, please answer no. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number 10. Yes. Juror number 15. Yes. Juror number 16. Yes. Juror, juror number 22. Don't cry yet. Yes. Juror number 27. Yes. Juror number 29. Yes. Mm -hmm. I do find that the jury's verdict is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your service in this case. I want to thank you again for your dedication and your hard work during this trial. I know I speak I, for everybody here. I actually here, can't believe it. Uh, when I appreciate tell you that we appreciate your sacrifices and your time and your public service in this matter okay so I'm gonna have you go back to the jury deliberation room for one more uh, time and then we'll release you from there okay all right thank you I can't believe it. Guys, I'm not kidding. Guys, I was kind of hoping for this outcome, but I didn't think I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think that the jury would be unanimous on the, under the stance that, 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 that they it's proven malice. That's really hard to prove. But I guess that's why that's why you bring things to trial and you have a jury, is that uh, it can happen. Because objectively, guys, because objectively, it is impossible. To prove malice, it's something that's just—it's not provable. But it's a trial, and there's a jury, so I guess they decide if they feel like it was done with malice. And they—they they said unanimously, yes, yes. How do you prove malice? You can't.